Thank you very much. Um, to start to say that it's a pleasure for PGS and for myself to speak to you all, such a distinguished audience, um, about our experience uh, so far in uh, in um, in this adventure in Ghana. Of course, you may wonder what a lawyer from a corporation is doing at your conference. <laughs> I think probably the answer should be here. Um, PGS, we have entered into a five-year sponsorship agreement with the Norwegian Society of Science and Letters. And the purpose of this is to sponsor and foster uh, math in uh, Norway and abroad. So we, uh, we uh, sponsored the uh, Abel math competition and a uh, web page called Mathematik Org. But what I'm going to talk to you about is this center of excellence in Africa which we are trying to set up. So just uh, in the beginning, we have decided in PGS to spend an accumulate of approximately two and a half million dollars over these years uh, to try to achieve some of the goals achieved uh, up here. And then the big question is, why would a corporation like PGS do this? We uh, have no doubt about it, we are not a non-for-profit. We are out to make money, uh, and that's what corporations should do. So why are we doing this? That I will try to explain. First, a little bit about who PGS is. We are a, uh, not a big company, but in Norwegian sense, a fairly large company. We have, uh, we're listed on the Norwegian Stock Exchange, and we are one of the three major geophysical companies globally today with about 2,350 uh, employees uh, and many, many people hired in on all our vessels. And as you can see, many nationalities, uh, some Norwegian, and we have a fairly large annual R&D spend. This is about uh, 60 to 70 million dollars per year. And what do we do? What does a geophysical company do? Well, we sell our services to oil companies. That's number one. What we do is we Take this vessel here, which you see to your left, uh, and behind that vessel we tow a, what we call an air gun close to the vessel, and behind and behind that cables or streamers as we call them, and they are eight to ten kilometers long, and they contain geosensors uh, and hydrophones. So the air gun shoots a sound wave into the subsurface, and every time it hits a new layer in the subsurface, a signal is sent up. That signal is picked up by all the sensors in, uh, in the cables behind. And it's not one cable we tow behind, it's 16 cables, and they have a spread of about 100 meters per cable, a typical spread. So you could imagine, 16 cables, 100 meters between each of them, and 8 to 10 kilometers backwards is what we told uh, out there. And the purpose of this is to make a map of the subsurface, like the one you see to your right. And oil companies buy this map. This is the foundation for an oil company to know where to drill. <clears throat> if you, without a seismic map, you're basically drilling blind. So this is what our purpose in life is, is to deliver these seismic maps to oil companies. And what do we need to be able to do that? Well, we need the vessels, obviously, but much more important than that, we need geophysicists, mathematicians, geologists, and other technical competences and experts. And the oil industry and the oil service industry in particular has identified that one of the huge challenges that we will face is, have, uh, is meeting the demand for these experts. It is a problem for PGS and similar companies to be able to employ enough skilled workers. That's one challenge we have. Another challenge we have is that we operate all over the world and more and more we face what we know as uh, local content rules 
which implies that we have to employ local people, we have to take in, uh, into account local resources uh, wherever we operate. Finally, in doing this, we also have a very, very strict compliance regime. Any Western listed company operating around the world would have to do so under very, very strict rules in order to ensure that we are not contributing to corruption and other wrongdoings in the uh, uh, countries we operate in. And this is very, very much a very lively and uh, true challenge for us every day. <clears throat> and every company of our size will like to sponsor something. We would like to give something back to society. And for PGS, uh, we found that sports, uh, skis or whatever Norwegian companies typically sponsor was not what we wanted to put, uh, where we wanted to put our money. Math is much more to our heart. This is what our people do every day and uh, our employees can recognize the importance of math and science. So therefore, we wanted to uh, do something uh, in this area. And the answer is, uh, if you see in blue, to try to set up a center of excellence in mathematics in Ghana. Well, here is the picture from Ghana, <coughs> first of all. Uh, we signed an agreement, and it's a co collaboration agreement between the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters and the National Institute of Mathematics and Science in Ghana, uh, and the local university where the uh, center is to be placed, which we call KNUST, so I don't have to pronounce all the letters, and PGS. And the purpose of this agreement is to foster and support research in mathematics and to advance mathematical uh, education and development in Ghana and other parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. As I said, it's located at Cruz University, and we want to uh, be able to uh, encourage and foster activities such as scholarships, seminars, conferences, courses, and we want this to lead to higher degrees locally. So very much similar to what I saw the purpose of uh, what the Bank of Sinal was uh, talking about. We want people to have the education locally, we want them to stay there. <clears throat> I've also told, uh, asked to give some, uh, some flavor to some of the challenges we have met trying to do this. The first challenge was actually finding the right place. And, as I mentioned, a large corporation like us, we need to know that uh, we can trust the governments we are, uh, where we operate. We need to understand and trust that there are stable, democratic, political environment. There's an infrastructure in place. We don't want to build buildings. We want, a, we want to know that there are working governmental institutions. Basically, a, a country that works and doesn't have too much corruption. We would bluntly. That's where we want to put our money. And Ghana was the answer for us. I'm sure there are other candidates, but this is where we found the, the most, uh, most, uh, most of these things were in place. <clears throat> we have still found that uh, during this uh, funding, this uh, operation has been somewhat challenging as the very, very, I must say, very rigid rules we have for documenting where the funds are ending up is a challenge for anyone. So we need documentation that the funds are going to the right uh, place and this obviously is a challenge. And I'm not saying that our friends in Ghana doesn't have the best of interests and want to help us. It's just very, very cumbersome and we are very strict and square about it. And this obviously has been a, a challenge. Secondly, the people in Ghana, they need money for several things and it's a challenge for us to make sure that we spend the money we spend are used to what we want to go to, which basically is not buildings, but rather PhDs and masters. This has been a little bit of a challenge. We have underestimated the time it will take and I think probably, although we operate all over the world, 
the cultural differences of Norway and, uh, and Ghana, uh, which is very, very different. Uh, we look at our agreements, we're a corporation. They are to be read as they are. We spend a lot of time formulating them directly, while our friends over there see them more as a intention. Uh, and there, I mean, this is not to um, say that uh, we are better or they are worse. It's just different, and we have to adopt. So the time it takes is um, we have underestimated it. But we hope that we will now be able to formally open the center during 2014. And, uh, and uh, we really look forward to that. And as I said, we really believe in this project. And the last I want to say, for all the employees in PGS, this is really something to be proud of. We spend a lot of time and effort explaining to our employees what we are trying to do. And, uh, and for geophysicists, mathematicians all over the world, this is something for the employees to be proud of. They recognize it. They uh, see the value in what we are doing. And when that is the case, we feel that we are getting something back as well. So that hopefully answers why we are doing this. Thank you.